Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance today. We ask for comfort. We ask for you to fill our hearts with love and kindness and to bridle our tongues, Lord, as we go through this day. In Jesus' precious name, we ask these blessings. Amen. Today we are in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible and we are in chapter, oh wait a minute, what, well we are in the book of Ezekiel, <laughs> I forgot to turn the page, <laughs> oh we are in chapter 29 in the book of Ezekiel. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, in the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great dragon that lieth in the midst of his rivers, which hath said, my river is mine own, and I have made it for myself. And I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of the rivers to stick unto thy scales. And I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales. And I will leave thee thrown into the wilderness, thee and all the fish of thy rivers. Thou shalt fall upon the open fields, Thou shalt not be brought together, nor gathered. I have given thee for meat to the beast of the field, and to the fowls of the heaven. And all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of thee by thy hand, thou didst break and rend all their shoulder. And when thou leaned upon them, Thou breakest and madest all their loins to be as at a stand, or to shake. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring a sword upon thee, and cut off man and beast out of thee. And the land of Egypt shall be desolate and waste, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Because he hath said, The river is mine, and I have made it. Behold, wherefore I am against thee and against thy rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate. From the tower of Shai-ni, Shai, Shai, even unto the border of Ethiopia, no foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of beast shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited forty years." And I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate. And her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate forty years. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and I will disperse them through the countries. Yet thus saith the Lord God, At the end of forty years will I gather the Egyptians from the people, whither they were scattered. And I will bring again the captivity of Egypt and will cause them to return into the land of Pathros, into the land of their habitation. And they shall be there a base, or a lowly kingdom. It shall be the basis of the kingdoms. Neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations. For I will diminish thee, that they shall no more rule over the nations. And it shall be no more the confidence of the house of Israel, which bringeth her iniquity to remembrance, when they shall look after them. But they shall know that I am the Lord God. And it came to pass in the seven and twentieth year, in the first month, in the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to serve a great service against Tyrus. Every head was made bald and every shoulder was peeled. Yet had he no wages, nor his army, for Tyrus for the service that he had served against it. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, 
Behold, I will give the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall take her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, wherewith he served against it, because they wrought for me, saith the Lord God. In that day will I cause the horn of the house of Israel to bud forth, and I will give thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Here is what's happening is, God used Nebuchadnezzar to go and take Jerusalem and um, Judah from the uh, all the Israelites into captivity. And now he's recognized that Nebuchadnezzar did this as his servant because you know our Lord God sets up kings and takes them downs, down and so he used Nebuchadnezzar he can use anyone to be his servant to accomplish his will and so now he's going to repay Nebuchadnezzar and his army because they received no spoil when they took down Tyrus so now he's going to reward them with the riches from Egypt uh, for his army and so forth and so on. And so our God is fair and just. And let's praise his holy name. I hope you guys have a great day today. I am so lifted up today in prayer. Don't forget your prayers. Uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes I could just, I don't know, keep my head down for such a long time that the day would be over before I could lift it up but you know we have responsibilities and duties in this world that we have to accomplish throughout our day to feed ourselves and get our jobs done and take care of our families and so forth and so on but don't forget to bow your hair your hair <laughs> which is on your head in prayer <laughs> and I keep saying hair instead of head but you know what I mean and as always I love you